My name is Gary Houston. I'm a potter from Payson, Arizona. I uh, originally started being a potter in Canada. I was born in Banff, Alberta. I'm self-taught and have been a potter for 41 years. My real enjoyment in pottery now is making functional wear that is both useful and decorative. And that's what I try to achieve I on each and every piece. Giver, you know? I put a lot of thought me. and time into the usefulness and appearance of my work. And how has your work changed over the years? My work is always changing. My, ch my work changes every two or three months. There's something new, different, new glazes, new shapes, new designs. I like to... Uh, really have a wide variety of things. I probably right now have 50 different items in production full time. I produce somewhere between five and 600 pieces of pottery every month. And can you describe some of the pieces here at Sibley's West? Well, this is an egg separator. It's one of my little novelty items that uh, everybody seems to really enjoy and they uh, they work perfectly well. I probably make about a thousand of these a year. Mm -hmm. I do the candle jars which is a collaboration between me and another local artist here in Fountain Hills. She does the wax work and I do the jars. Mm -hmm. Everything I make is a high fire stoneware so you're able to use it in the oven, microwave, dishwasher, you can put it in your freezer. Uh, it's fired to almost 2400 degrees. It makes it very durable wear. So longevity is one of the real important things about my work. Not a lot of potters are doing high fire stoneware anymore. Mm -hmm. And what are your thoughts on colors and coloring? Um, if I had my way, everything would be brown. Because <laughs> I just think brown is a pottery color. But I do a, a huge variety of color combinations and color finishes. I do. You know, a lot of things are accented with red. I do a line of blues. Um, I'm always trying to come up with something new and unusual that hasn't been seen before. So I, tr I try to vary the colors, but mostly fairly earthy colors. And has your work changed between Canada and California and Arizona? Oh, absolutely. I'm now doing a lot of things that were real prevalent in the pottery industry when I first started that, and that's a lot of exposed clay and textures in the clay. Uh, doesn't change the wear, the usefulness of the wear, but it's something I've always enjoyed doing, and I really personally like the, uh, the appeal of the exposed clay with decoration in it. Mm -hmm. And what's the connection to Scotland? Oh. <laughs> Uh, got me there. <laughs> my grand, my grandfather was from Scotland. But you have a piece or something in a museum. Oh, I have or uh, gallery. I have several uh, wine goblets that are in the Robbie Burns Museum. There's probably I think 18 of them there. They're all hand signed and numbered, and they were collected uh, f uh, by the curator of the museum in Canada when I used to work for the Robbie Burns Club every year. I used to. Do 251 goblets every year for their banquet. So where is it in Scotland? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And uh, anything uh, ahead for you in terms of uh, your products? Uh, no, I'm just in the midst of doing designs for the spring, which I do every year at this time, and there'll be new and different items and some new glazes mm -hmm. uh, just to change things up every year. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for being a part of Sibley's West.